you start gaslighting yourself, here's a prophetic word for you. If you are a bad person, like what mental illness says, if you are this bad person that the narcissist described you to be, why are they trying to keep you? Why are they still with you? Why are they trying to take away, why are they trying to take away all the things that could help you move away? Why are they trying to keep you then? It's like, for example, everybody knows I got a narcissistic mother. And those who don't know are making me out to be the bad guy and telling me to go back to him at the same time. Like, that's pretty stupid. Like, if I'm, if, if I was manipulative and you knew that, let's say, for example, let's say I, I was manipulative. If I was manipulative and you know that, don't you know how stupid it is to tell some, to tell the manipulative person to go back to the person that they manipulate? If I'm this bad person that my mom likes to describe, why do I need to go back to her? Okay, if I'm a bad person, then cut me off. If I'm a bad person, cut me off or let me leave. If I'm a bad person, why do you have to use the police to put me in the hospital and take me back to your place? My mom starting rumor talking about how disrespectful I am. Like, but at the same time, she don't want me, but at the same time, every time I leave the house, Every time I leave the house, she calls the police, they put me in the hospital, and then they make me go right back to my mom. See, when my mom uses the police to take me back to her house, that is proof that I'm not a bad person. She just want, she just want to make my life a living hell. Like, if I'm such a bad person, why, does she, why do I still need to be under her conservatorship? Why do I still need to be legally bonded to her? And if you are a judge who are watching this, like, if she ever decides to cut me off, that's because she already got someone. Like, she immediately went back to her fiancé as soon as I left her. She can't live without company. Regardless of what she says, she can't live without company. Same with my sister named Netamashi. My sister... If she ever decides to cut me off, that's because she got her daughter and her son. And if my brother decides to cut me off, that's because he got his wa his wife and his son. I started all these court cases. I started all these court cases against my mother because she is the one who's being manipulative. And, and I am trying to leave her. I got a plan. I'm just not telling it to the internet for privacy reasons. But yeah, if you are this bad person that the narcissist describes you out to be, why are they trying to keep you then? Like, if I'm this bad person that my mom describes me out to be, why do, why do I need to go back to her then? Why do I need to stay with her? Why do I need to stay legally bonded to somebody I can't get along with? If I'm so manipulative, why do I need to stay legally bonded? Legally bonded to her. If I'm such a bad person, stop telling me to go back to my mom. Stop telling me that she still needs to be my conservator. Stop telling me all of that. Okay, if I'm such a bad, horrible, manipulative person, let me go. I'm the one who's trying to leave her because she's manipulative. If I'm such a bad person, stop calling the police, making me out to be the bad guy, but at the same time, making the police force me to come back home as soon as I walk out the door. Man, living with my mom gave me a whole lot of mental illnesses. Anxiety, depression, CPTSD, being shy is a traumatic response because you living with somebody who often likes to cross your boundaries. 
to the point where you ain't got none. Shy people don't have any boundaries. And this is why people like to take advantage of them. Okay. I was shy. Still am a little bit. But I was shy due to... Because I've been living with mom who continuously crossed my boundaries. People say like, what's wrong with her crossing your boundaries? Like, I am be... Because my mom likes to cross my boundaries, it makes me more likely to be taken advantage of because I don't have any boundaries. Do you know how... Like, I've had strangers asking me where I live, asking me where I'm going, asking me personal questions because they knew I ain't got no boundaries, so I just freeze. Like, do you know how easily... Do you know how easy it is to tell somebody where you live because they said so? Because they ask? Do you know how easy it is to tell somebody where you live because they ask? Okay. I had crackheads, cocaine addicts with the thing, asking me where I live. With the nose, I forgot, cocaine. With the cocaine smeared on their nose, asking me where I live. I didn't tell him. But he asked me what time is it, so I gave him an idea. So I told him I told him the time, and he gave him an idea. I don't do this maliciously. Like, I don't do this... Like, there are times that I almost put my mom... There's there's times that I almost put my mom... I almost put people in general in danger because I couldn't shut up. Okay, it was never maliciously. I just almost did it because I was traumatized. Do you know how easy it is to tell cocaine addicts where you live? Especially when you do not have boundaries. There are times that I'd be trauma babbling, meaning like babbling out of your own trauma, oversharing, oversharing, talking too much out of your own trauma, like trauma babbling to the point where it almost to the point was like, I'd be talking too much, but on the inside, I'm like, help me. It is hard. It's hard because when you are traumatized, when you have no boundaries, you are more likely to put yourself and other people in danger because you can't shut up. I cannot heal mentally when I'm around my family members. And I am trying to leave them. I started all these court cases because I'm trying to leave them. So back to what I'm saying, like, if the narcissist is trying to keep you and like to accuse you at the same time, you're not the problem. They are. So like this video, give it a like. If you want to comment, go ahead, smash the like. God bless.